Hi, welcome to Bright Hope Creations. I'm Kara and today these bears are going on their typical Sunday drive. So we're using car critters and the reveal wheel. The reveal wheel car critters add-on and I cut one plane and one with the window. The reveal wheel and the little circle that goes in the back. These are the trees from Shadowbox Card Park add-on in wood grain cardstock and really rainbow. And then these are from the Scallop Treat Box Spring House add-on and those also had spring fling paper. These are the Reveal Wheel stencils and they're very helpful for this. So we're gonna use the one with four today. So I'm gonna start by stamping up that car and I'm using jet black ink because I'm going to color with Copics today. So just stamp that up and I made sure that it went right around that window. And now we're gonna color and I'm using some grays. This is a cool gray C1 for the bumper and, and shading in the lights a little bit. And then kind of blend that out a little with a C00 and then put in those reflective lights with a Y15 and Shade a little more of those headlights with a BG-11. Color in those tires with a C4. And then I'm gonna put some tread marks or the treads of the tire on with a C8. Just put some lines on there. And then we're gonna have a blue car today. So I have a B21 here. I'm just gonna color the entire image because there's small areas, I just want to do the shading once I have uh, the first coat down, I guess. So everything in the B21, and then I'll start shading with a B24. Just anything underneath or to the left, because I'm going to say that the sun is shining over to the top right. That's the light source here. So just getting everything shaded in and I'm even going to put in darker uh, the B26 to shade in further and then I will blend everything. I just waited to blend because uh, small areas that I'm putting in some shadow so I really didn't want to uh, blend everything away and uh, I wanted to keep the lights light. So it's a little different than the way I usually color. Usually I try to find those highlight or those shadows with my lightest color and then uh, blend from there. Now to start my blending out, I'm blending with the B23 and uh, this way I'll have a, a bit of a transition between those dark colors and then go from there to the B21. I love that you can uh, replicate the recipient's car. And this one is colored after our family minivan. <laughs> so I'm gonna put a little more gray on that bumper, make it look more silver. And uh, our minivan spent through a lot, but I'm not gonna put all that on here, all the scratches and whatnot, but okay. Onto the scene, and I have that wood grain cardstock, so I'm taking some distress ink in gathered twigs and just going against the grain. And now with some mowed lawn, I'm just putting in some uh, shadow on the bottoms of those trees and deciding where those are going to be on my card. Now, if I have them just on the reveal wheel panel, uh, it's it's a little crowded and I don't know how you would actually use the reveal wheel itself. I, I mean, I guess I'd have to work that out, but if I put it on the entire card, I can kind of move that stuff out a little further and I can figure out how to uh, get the reveal wheel action uh, in there as part of it. I'm trying to create some perspective by putting the larger things in front and the smaller ones in back. And so with this roadway, I'm just masking it off with some full stick masking uh, 3M uh, sticky notes and also on the car. And then it, the road's gonna be closer 
to us it's going to be bigger and the further away it'll get smaller so just uh, putting it in an angle from the car and I'm using hickory smoke distress ink to blend that in and create that road and then once I have that I want to put it in the uh, horizon so I'm deciding where that's going to be up on the top and that's just going to be straight across so I'm just going to rip off that post-it note and use it uh, use the straight edge all the way across and I probably shouldn't have uh, cut the window out of the car because I'd like that little border in there to remain white so I'm just going to watch that and then I'm putting the reverse mask on that road but my ink is still uh, a little wet it's not holding the sticky note so I'm just tacking that down a little further and using some uh, shabby shutters distress ink and also then I'll come in with some mowed lawn and that'll give us our grass on the sides so some straight edge masking today except for the car to create that landscape all right so just the top horizon left and again my sticky notes won't stick so I just taped them down a little with some uh, painters tape and putting on some salty ocean for the sky and that's our background scene all set and then the reveal to take off the mask to see how that car is looking with our background and that's always the fun part. That's why I like to mask. It's just to reveal it and see see how it looks. Well, now I'm going to put on some sentiments. And one is going to be on the car. And then one is going to be white heat embossed. So with some clear ink, I'm going to stamp up the main sentiment. And then with some jet black ink, I'm going to put the uh, license plate in the car. And so with some white embossing powder, sprinkle that on, and oh yeah, <laughs> uh, my ink was still a little wet. And that's why it's always better to put that sentiment on before you put the, the ink blending. But I'll just work on that a little bit and <laughs> heat it up and melt that embossing powder and it's just fine. So now it's time for the reveal wheel itself. And here is that stencil. And I'm going to put my brad through that. And this is going to help, really help, to uh, stamp in the right places. Just positioned perfectly so it's in the window of the car. So we have Mr. Bear driving the car. I'm going to stamp him up. And I found it was best to put that stamp right down, uh, butted up against the bottom of the window. Here's Mrs. Bear, and I know that this is going to go clockwise. I sometimes have to do the motion to figure that out, but but they're driving along, and uh, Mr. Bear is saying, I thought you knew where we were going, and Mrs. Bear says, why would I know? You're the one with the GPS. Well, it's, uh, it, I left it at home. Okay, so... I'll get out the map. We don't need a map, says Mr. Pograb. I mean, Mr. Bear. And so uh, she's still going to persevere and read that map and figure it out. And then Mr. Bear will just calmly keep driving along as if nothing ever happened, following Mrs. Bear's directions, of course. Well, in our house, we have a saying Daddy does not get lost. Now, some of us say it tongue-in-cheek. One of us says it seriously. <laughs> but, okay, on to coloring. I'm just going to color one of the bears since they're all kind of the same. And I'm using E30s, just coloring the whole bear with the lightest and coming in with some shadows with an E33. Finding those shadows, putting them in the ear, under the neck, under the arms, and on the one side of the face and then I'm going to darken those up with an E37 and I like to put a little bit of a ridge going towards their eye you can see that on the face on the right 
I mean, on the left, because uh, it kind of gives this idea of that the, the eyes are set back a little, it makes the, the nose come out a little further because they're bears. And uh, just blending that all back in then with the E31 and then finishing off the blending with an E30. And we're going to add in some pink cheeks with an R20. And that's the way all of the bears were colored here. And so now we can put our card together. We have all the different elements and it's time to put this reveal wheel together. So I'm taking that small circle and putting the brad through the back of it and then the brad through the back of the big circle, the reveal wheel, and opening up the brad. And now I'm putting some foam tape around that brad on the small circle, but I don't want to touch that brad so that it moves freely. And I'm going to line up those bears in the car, figure out where they uh, need to be, and then I'll take off that release paper and then I'll set it down onto the other panel, the, the plain panel. And I like to put the bottom pieces together first uh, because there's no tape down there and kind of line that up and then I can uh, slowly bring it down and there it is right where it needs to be and so then I'm putting foam tape all around but not touching the reveal wheel uh, so that it can move freely and it it matches the height of the reveal wheel with that foam behind it Take off that release paper, and now I can put the top panel on there. So there we go. The bears are now buckled into their seats in the car. And make sure that I can see all of them. Once I have this all pressed down, there they are. And they're in the perfect place because of that stencil. And I'm going to put it on the card base. Now first I want to glue the trunks of the trees onto the leaves and you can put the uh, trunk behind or in front but I, I like that in the front you can see more detail and I'm doing the same with the the uh, larger trees just getting those put together and then I'm going to put some foam tape on the backs of these trees where there is uh, um, just along the edge because the height of the reveal wheel uh, I want to match that with the height of the tree so it sits down nicely on the card so there it is and it kind of just hugs that corner there and um, want to line up the back tree so it looks uh, right with the front tree and I figured out where that is and I don't want to move it so I'm just gonna put some glue behind it and then just press it down and I did the same thing with the other tree on the other side and now I want to cut the branch off of this tree trunk so that the trunk itself can sit on the card base and that way you can get in there with your finger and move that reveal wheel. So I'm just going to put that uh, trunk underneath, but on the top, it's going to lift up. So I'm not gonna glue that down because I'm going to put foam tape on the other one. But first I wanted to put my card, pan my panel down on the card so I knew exactly where to put that tree. And I decided I wanted a white border around. I thought that was gonna look good, uh, but I changed that later because uh, these uh, big trees look like they're floating <laughs> when, I, when I looked at it. So I had to come back uh, with some more distress ink and get those edges. But right now I'm just putting those uh, tree canopies in the corners and gluing that top of the tree trunk with the branches on top so it lifts up a little bit 
And then I'm going to put this branch, tuck it underneath and glue that on as well. And that's how I got the reveal wheel to move freely, but still have a, a tree over there. So the tree didn't get in the way. Now I'm just trimming off the extra branches and it's all set. And now I'm going to glue on the arrow that comes with the reveal wheel set to show the recipient the way to go and that there's something to do there. And I decided it needed a little something, so decided to put some flowers on. And these flowers come from the Butterfly Kisses stamp set. So I'm just coloring them in some oranges and reds, or kind of a pinky red. And uh, one thing I like about these is that they kind of look like they're, you're getting a side view of these flowers, the way they're angled. So it works perfectly for a scene like this. And adding some detail coming out from the centers and then I'm going to use the coordinating die cut for that and another thing I like is that it'll cut all three but uh, gives you separate pieces so I'm putting the largest flowers in the front because again we're keeping that perspective with the largest in front and smaller in the back so those the smallest flowers and then I'm just going to put a medium flower in there as well and I think that's all it needs, just some color on there. But then here's where I decided uh, I've got some floating trees. So I am taking the smaller sized life-changing brushes and I'm blending in some of the same ink onto the background. Now, obviously this would have been a lot easier if I hadn't decked everything down. But I tried getting it off and nothing was going to budge. So so this this worked. It worked just fine. Then we'll just finish up with a little bit of blue in the sky. And then it's all set. Alright, so here's our our scene, and there's our little bear couple on their on the road of life, <laughs> so to speak. All right, well, this card is all finished. I hope you enjoyed it today and that maybe it inspired you to make a reveal wheel card with a scene as well. Well, thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye.